In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up the Panops Live Scope for bass fishing. Right out of the box, the Panops Live Scope from Garmin is ready to go. You can either install the transducer on the shaft or the uh, actual trolling motor head. As this unit's grown in popularity, uh, quite a few anglers have contacted me about, uh, you know, what is the best way to set up their unit. And the simple answer is there really isn't the best way to set up this unit. The configurations can change depending on uh, what type of fish you're going after or the type of structure you're fishing. So I'm not going to cover all the other different possibilities of configurations, um, just the one that meets my fishing needs. I'll explain how I set it up and why I chose to do it this way. There are three areas in the configuration that you uh, will need to use and adjust on almost every trip out. I'll cover in detail the adjustments you need to do for the forward range, depth range, as well as the gain. I mounted the uh, Panopix transducer directly to the head of my trolling motor. I wanted to mount it as low as possible so I can get a good view under docks uh, and marinas. On my home lake of Lake Travis, the water level is constantly fluctuating, so the docks and marinas are actually on floats. They're not on, on poles mounted to, or uh, pylons mounted to the, the lake bottom. So if the transducer uh, was mounted higher on the trolling motor shaft, I wouldn't have the same capabilities to look back uh, you know, 40 to 60 feet distance under the float to these uh, docks and marinas. In this clip, you can see a uh, bunch of white bass stacked up about 30 feet underneath one of the docks. I skipped a swim bait all the way to the back of the dock and I could see the white bass uh, chasing it back to the boat. Setting up the appearance option uh, for color scheme is a matter of personal preferences. I like the blue because it's easy on the eyes at night and I can see it really well in the daytime. I do like the setting called uh, bottom fill. This lets me focus on the transitions between the bottom and the water, the water column. This is where you're gonna see uh, the brush and the bass swimming around mostly. One setting that I change the most, and it's pretty quick, is the depth. Uh, most of the time I just have it set on auto, which does a pretty good job of adjusting the depth as I'm fishing. If I'm fishing a, a bluff wall in 50 feet of water, I probably wanna see 100% of the wall. I'm gonna let the auto depth just do its adjustments as needed. But on Lake Travis, uh, it's such a deep lake. You can go from you know, 10 feet to 100 feet pretty quick. As you've seen earlier, this is also handy when looking for schooling bass. I'm not really interested in things that are maybe deeper than 40 feet. Uh, if you know the bass are roaming around in a 20 foot depth. So what I'll do is I'll set the depth manually at 40 or 50 feet. So when I'm fishing around uh, deep water marinas, I don't want the depth to auto adjust. I'll just set it to 30 or 40 feet, depending on where I see the bait. The settings that I use the most throughout the day uh, is the forward range as well as the gain. This is a very fast adjustment uh, and critical for picture clarity when the depth is auto adjusting. You can't get a clear picture. Uh, when your range is set at 80 feet and you're fishing in 10 feet of water. Also, having the range set for 40 feet when you're looking for schooling bass isn't going to give you the best picture either. So my basic rule is uh, the shallower you're fishing, the shorter the forward range should be, and the deeper you're fishing, the longer you want it to be. The gain, I change that mostly from uh, lake to lake and different parts of the lake. It's affected by water clarity. So here you can see I reduced the gain from about 66 to back down to 60 to kind of clear up the image uh, around the where the water meets the uh, the bottom. And you can see some bait, possibly some bass too, swimming around uh, what seems to be a little maybe brush pile or a lay down down there. Well, the Panopix is a really great piece of equipment to have on your boat. And once you have it set up, uh, just going through these basic steps, you'll find that when you're on the water looking for those fish, you have to make very few adjustments throughout the day. I hope you found this video informative and very helpful. And uh, please subscribe to my channel, Fishing with the Frizz, for more videos.